So this is what you do if you have a tight parking space. So what's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. And uh, today we are going to a small place uh, which is uh, nearby to my house and that's the uh, Molali. I think the main reason why we're going is uh, just to have a walk, uh, basically for an evening walk. Uh, it has close to 500 plus steps, so uh, it's on a hill. So mainly walking on the steps, I think that's something that we are going to do. And also today I'm going to talk about the uh, built quality of the Renault Triber. But compared to the Ignis, uh, I'm facing some minor issues, I would say, or maybe the build quality is like that. So what are those uh, in this video that I'm going to talk about? Uh, so let's uh, check out the video. What's up YouTube? Talking about the build quality of the Renault Triber, there are a couple of things which I've observed comparatively from the previous cars that I've owned. Uh, there are a few things which I feel are noteworthy to mention that uh, there is a serious lack of safety. Uh, probably mainly because to cut down on the cost and also to save on the weight, uh, these have, measures have been taken. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, it is entirely bad, but I haven't uh found any particular uh, forum which uh, talks great about the driver safety uh, quality so start of the elephant on the room uh, i think the first thing is certainly that it doesn't come with any euro and cap crash test uh, uh, certification uh, because this is built on an extended quit platform and quit scored the lowest so that is something which uh, you know i want to first put it across so it is best that it has been driven in the cities and with a minimum speed which is less than 70 hence the speed rating is also clogged at 70 once when you cross that speed it starts buzzing a sound so that's something which you have to note uh, other build quality is that this frame i guess this is the frame which uh, uh, runs i know this is uh, not a body and frame but is it is a monocoque construction but in this monocoque con construction i think this is one of the main portion of uh, the frame and if you see this is a hollow frame so basically if you just take out the sponge a hollow frame which runs the length of the car and coming back to the internal mud guard so the mud guard is fiber and on top of that they have put some uh, talking about the front fender if you see this front fender internally it is built apart uh, from uh, fiber and it is not of that good material because uh, if you see it can flex a little bit and that is not a good sign and to insulate it from some uh, noise they have put some padding but uh, I guess the build quality over here is not that great so you have to be careful when you're going on gravel uh, where the stones can pick up the uh, tire threadings and if it hits the internal mud guard there's a chances where this can crack also if you see this side of the portion is hollow 
So you have any cash or anything that you can keep it over here for safety. No, I was just kidding. But it is entire hollow. So if you see the outer frame and the inside frame of the car, there's a big hollow gap. This could have easily been covered or been done something. I guess that was primarily to save the weight. Also on the interiors, I want to point out uh, one of the main safety features and that is the auto door lock option. So for the other cars, if you are reaching a speed of around 10 or 15 kilometers, the doors automatically lock. But for Renault driver, it doesn't. I have tested this for uh, 10 kilometers, 50 kilometers and also 70 kilometers. The doors doesn't lock. You need to manually lock this like this. And uh, that is something which is not a good thing because if you have kids, the chances where the doors are open will be there and uh, till the time you realize it uh, i think that is a different part but that is something that we need to keep for i think what is the cost cutting which driver has done i'm not sure about it but this should automatically lock rather than doing it manually so keep in mind so as i was mentioning there is an alarm which uh, indicates in the mid if your door is uh, you know accidentally open uh, if it is not locked so I'll show you that demo. So right now I'm driving and say if I open my door. So there is a, an indication which shows that there is gear lever TON, but there is a small indication which says that one of your door is open. So that is there, but it doesn't prevent from uh, the uh, door not being opened. So that is something that uh, I was uh, talking about that it doesn't have a sensor which automatically closes the uh, door at a certain speed. You need to manually go ahead and activate this to close all four doors of your car. The other thing that I want to talk about from the safety point of view is that the doors don't close with a reassuring sound. Uh, it has a clattering sound uh, like for the other cars it has a thump but this doesn't. So if you see I think that is something which is also concerning. So again, as I said, the doors, when they close, they don't close with a uh, thumps shut, uh, but they have a clattering sound. And uh, that only says that the doors are not of uh, a heavy gauge. Uh, so that is also something that you have to keep in mind. I'll show you a demo where I'm putting the front hood and uh, you can see the sound, how it comes. So if you see, this is the sound and then that's how it sounds like and one more thing is that the gap between the hood and the front bumper uh, it is i think way too much i think it sometimes looks like as if your hood is open but that's not the case so even though i tried pushing it but i think that's what it is because if you see there's a gap over here uh, and i'm not sure whether the design is like that but even from this angle if you see the gap is a little substantial so i guess that's how the build quality is uh, these were the couple of things that i wanted to talk about uh, on the build of the car and especially on the safety side of the car uh, but apart from that if you are in a city and if you are primarily catered for uh, hauling people and with six people in comfort i think this is the best choice uh, that your money can buy and especially with this price range i think this is one of the best car that your money can buy but apart from that the safety features yes it do matter uh, but from the safety point of view you need to be careful that you are not taking your car for highway and uh, not doing a spirited driving because that also matters it comes with uh, abs ebd and also it comes with uh, dual airbags in fact the top variant comes with four airbags so from that point of view it is covered but structurally it is something where it uh, uh, is not that great and from a, a euro and cap point of view also uh, it has no safety measures so that's a small video that i want to wrap up with uh, i hope you enjoy this video if you do so please like and subscribe to my channel this is kevin signing off and see you in the next one Bye bye